Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're going to actually show you how to build some die in Cinema 4D. And here's an example that's been put up on uh, Flash Tutorials. Let's go to the site real quick. And this particular uh, example was put up uh, on the Active uh, Plus Tutorials, so make sure you go there. And it was done by um, Yangus uh, Gurgle. And very nice of him, he actually provided both the source code and the uh, demo. You want to download the source code because in those are certain images that we're actually going to use in this tutorial and you want to use those to build it in Cinema 4D. So the die itself actually is uh, uh, not a uh, Collada object. It, it's just a simple primitive. He's put some, some sides on it. He's done some highlighting with some lighting to make it give it a nice realistic look. And we're actually going to actually come along here and bevel these sides so it look more like die. So let's go to Cinema 4D and let's get started. So we're in Cinema 4D. The first thing I want you to do is come along and bring down a primitive. So we'll hit this, then we'll bring a cube down. And we'll hit C just to make that editable, okay? So make sure that's selected. And we'll hit C to make it editable. And you can see little checkered marks appeared, which means it's editable. And then what we're going to do is just go ahead and uh, go to the edge mode. Now you can go to several different modes, uh, polygon, edge, or uh, vertices. We'll go to edge mode and we'll hit Control A and we'll select everything. Now we use some shortcuts here. If you hit the M key on your uh, keyboard, you're going to get the menu here for all the different items that you can, functions you can do. And we want to go down to bevel, which is an S right here. So with all our uh, sides selected, just go to the shortcut for bevel, which is M S. And now that we have a bevel, all we have to do is slide. And you can bevel one way or bevel the other. That's the way we want to bevel right there. And now we have a beveled uh, die. Now you thought this might be difficult. It's really simple. And we're just about done, believe it or not. Because all we need to do now is just take those images which we downloaded from the Active Touch site and put them on each side of these cube. And if you want to, you can actually put a glass material or something in between or something all over it. So what we're going to do is now go to materials and, actually, and, and start working with what, the different items that we need to uh, put everything on the side. I'm actually going to put a material on all the cube at first. So go file and in shaders you can choose like, let's choose a Banjai material, which is a glass-like material, and we'll just drop that on the entire cube. You can drop it here, or you can just drop it right on uh, the objects panel, and then you got a glass on there. And if you render that Control R to render, you just have a glassy-looking material. And so we're done with that. Let's go back, and what we're going to do is start putting materials on each side. And it's actually pretty easy to do. It's a lot of fun to do as well. So what I'm going to do is actually create a new material. So I'm going to file, new material. And there's my material right there. And in my material editor over here, I can actually do a little bit of stuff. Let me bring this up a little bit so you can see that. There's a tab here called Texture, and I actually can load a texture onto that material. So I'll hit Texture, and we'll go to Load Image. And we're going to go find our die images that we got from the website, Active Tuts. Now, there's a very important thing you want to do right here before you actually... Um, start bringing images and put on the, on the die. What you actually want to do is save this in a folder. So let's go ahead and save this. So go File, Save As. And I think I have a little Games folder. We'll just save it in Games. And we'll just call this Die. And save it. So now when I throw a material onto one of these cube sides, it will actually uh, save it into that folder Die. Then I can grab that and the Collada files and everything will be put together in the same place. So what I want to do is come along here to my texture that I've created and hit uh, the texture and go to load image and that allowed me to grab that and I had previously uh, I believe put these uh, images in the games folder so let's go there and there's an assets folder so click on that and there's my first die and let's go ahead and you can actually create the view there there you go and click on that one and just go open and it says do you want to throw that into the folder that you just saved your project in yes I do and now it's all there and you're gonna look down here in the material uh, uh, tab, you've actually created uh, in your materials a little die looking object right here. A little die looking object showing you that yes, that material has been put on there. And so now I'm just going to drag and drop that right on my die. And what I want to do is just select one side. So go to Polygon, just select one side, and you're just going to drag and drop it right on that side. And uh, there you go, you, got your, you have your die on one side. And we're going to repeat this process for each side of the die. There you go. And you can see uh, it's been put right here into my material. It's been put here into my objects panel. And so my glass here is over the entire cube, and now I'm starting to put uh, different materials on the different polygons. So let's do another side. And so we're once again going to create a material. So we'll go File. We'll go New Material. That's fine. Let's go to the texture and just create, grab the next die texture. Hit Load Image. 
and let's do the next one. Now, I'm not doing it in order, but uh, we'll just go with that. And so now we have a second one, and we can just select the next side of the cube, and let's just go ahead and drag and drop that onto the cube itself. And now you have the other side. So if I hit uh, one of these arrows here, it will appear for me soon. So I have both sides uh, clothed with this uh, texture. And if I render it, I'll hit Control R to render. I'm starting to put the sides on my cube, which is good. And uh, basically what you want to do is go through the same process over and over again until you complete the cube. Okay. So let's do another side. We'll go File. And we'll go uh, New Material. And then we'll just go Load Texture and we'll go Load Image. And find your next image and grab that. Hit OK. Yes, go ahead and save that in my file. And now just grab and drop that material right on. Make sure you select the side. And grab and drop that material right onto your cube. There you go. And we can hit one of these arrows over here and it will all show. And once again, if you roll around that, you can see you're starting to build your die. Isn't that great? And so I'm going to go ahead and let you finish the, the next three sides. And then I'm going to show you how to export this for Carlotta. Okay, we're now on our last side. And I want to warn you on what not to do. You might just be tempted just to add the material and just grab that sixth side right onto your cube and drop it. But when you do, everything changes color because what you've done, you've replaced all the materials in the cube. Let's control Z. That gets you back. Make sure, once again, that you select the side you want to drop it on and just drop it. And there you have it. We've completed our entire cube. And it was really simple, wasn't it? I thought you'd think so. And if you render that, you'll get a nice looking cube. Let me bring this down a little bit. And we'll render that. Control R. And now what we want to do, we want to go ahead and export this for Carlotta so I can bring this into Paper Vision or Away 3D. It's extremely simple. Just come along, go File, Export Files, and go to Export as Carlotta. And that's going to go into the Gains folder called Die. Hit Save. And hit OK on that. And uh, let's go take a look and see what we got in the games folder. So when you open up your games folder, you'll find these two assets. And one is a DAE file and one is a uh, text uh, folder, which has all your images in it. Now, the DAE file is a Collada file that you want to bring into your uh, Away 3D or PV3D project. But in addition, you want to make sure you bring in this folder so you have all your images with it as well. So we're going to show you how to do that next time and talk about how DAE works and how to get these files running in both Away 3D and Paper Vision, and how to control them in JigLib. So it's pretty easy to control a cube in JigLib or a primitive object, but how do you control a Carlotta object? And we'll show you how to do that next time. And thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.